hello and welcome back in this tutorial i'll show you guys how to make this creative belly design so let's get started firstly i will need to import my images so i'll head over to my gallery through the import option and um, over to my download and i'll pick an image all right, so I'm going to use this image. So I'm just going to reduce this and then increase this and place it somewhere here. All right, so the next um, thing now is to import a shape. So I'm going to import the shape and I'm going to place this shape in between the image so that i'll have um one side of the image um covered and the other side seen right so i'm going to place it here along the nose okay so i'm going to lock this and the next thing i'll do right now is to um okay to import my sorry is to write my um my test yeah my test i'm gonna come over here and then i'll write happy birthday so i'm going to separate this birthday this way and i'll separate this one this way okay so i'll go over to my fonts and then I will choose um okay so I'm gonna use this so I have to increase this and then go over to the align and then I'll choose this option all right so I'm still gonna um okay I think this way is better so the next thing I'm going to do from here is to head over to the line spacing and bring them closer to each other bring them closer and then I need this to be bolder than this so we just need to go over to the style and i'll choose bold okay so i still need this to be closer so i'm gonna come out to the line spacing again and all right i think it's better this way and then i'll increase this a bit again Okay, so um, the next thing I will do now is to head over to my grid, click here, and I will just roll a line here, okay? And because I want each of my tests to be um, aligned at one end, I'm just going to edit this and then, alright, before I do that, let me roll the lines. I will rule each of them so I can get perfect alignment. Alright, so I'm going to close this and place this here. Okay. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to edit each of these tests one after the other so I can get them aligned at the edge. So this is not the kind of alignment I wanted. So going to edit this one so so i'm going to make sure this is touching the line i rode exactly this way and i will copy this and i'll just do this one after the other okay so I'm going to copy this as well 
and then bits. Now place this somewhere here and make sure they are all touching that line I wrote. Both below. Okay. So the next test here should be day. I'll bring this over here. And I will make sure it's aligned. Okay. So I'm doing this this way because the um the align tool wasn't able to give me this um alignment, so I have to do it um, one after the other. So, so I just want each um shape to be on one side. Okay, I think this is great. So what I'm going to do from here now is to okay if I do that, let me increase this image more. Okay, now this is great. So I'm just going to merge all the test layers and merge them. And then I will uh, make it bolder this way, just this way. So once I merge them, I can increase them. Make it wider, and also I will try to make sure. Okay, I think this is too. Okay, let me lose it a bit. It's aligned with the line I wrote earlier, with the grid line. Okay. So from here, the next um step now is to import my background, my background design. So I'll head over to this place and or import it. So I'll just choose the 9 ratio 16 and then I'll come over to relative size and I'll make it um, bigger. So I'm just going to bring this over and let it cover this side a bit. Okay, I think this should be great. Alright. So from here, what I will do next is to go over to my shadow and I'll enable this. So I'll reduce this to 5. And I'll come over here and make this. Um, I'll bring this over here. I think this should be great. Alright, so the next step here is to Okay, I'll just pick the tests that were merged recently and then I'll go over to the color. And I'll make this black. Okay. Just this way. So now I'll merge the layer, the test layer now with um, the shape, the white background shape. Sorry, the white shape. So after I've done this, I'll go over to erase color and i will erase this so i'll just click click on the color picker and i'll pick black so if you only need to select the black you just need to like toggle around and the black will be selected all right so i'm just gonna increase this to 28 i think this should be great so as i've seen this our um design is not looking good because our test is not showing very well just some part sorry so what i'm going to do from here now is to go over to my shape so i'm going to come over here click on this shape and then i'll cover up everything here everything here just this side and then I'm going to click to back 
just this way and I'll head over to color and I will use this color okay all right I think this is better use this color all right so from here the next step now is to write my signature the name signature so I'll click on test and then come over here and I'll just choose a name okay so bring this over here and I'll go over to font and choose a signature font mm. right so I'm gonna use this one so just need to increase this okay so guys before i continue if you are new to my channel kindly support the channel by liking the video sharing to your friends and also subscribing your like shares and subscription helps the channel grow thank you guys so i'm just going to go over to paddling so i can see all the tests very well so i'll increase the size and this side okay so I just need to pick a color the plus icon color picker and then I'll choose one of these colors so I'm going to go with this one because of the burger I'm using okay so yeah, I think this is great okay let me use this it's let me change the fonts. I need something more, um, more stylish. Okay, I think this is great. This is great. All right. So I have to increase the, the color. Right. And that is that. So that's all. The next step is to save them. Save your design. I'll just head over to here and then i'll save so guys thank you guys um for watching like share subscribe and i'll see you in my next tutorial